So, good afternoon, students, and welcome to another episode of Power Up Your English. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're almost coming to the end of your trimester, and thank you for being with me all of this time and doing your tasks. So, because we are coming to the end of the trimester of your school first school period, I would like you to send me your portfolio so that I can grade you on it. So, let's have a look at what a completed portfolio should look like. If you still haven't done your portfolio, please go to your website and check the My Portfolio task. In this previous guide, you have instructions, you have videos to watch in order to complete your portfolio. Please make sure you watch this presentation if you have not yet done your learning open. The top menu will be on the top left corner and it will be a drop down menu. From the PC instead it will look something like this. So you have home, you have news, tasks, videos, the book in time, so your in time lessons, the assessment and games. So where do you find your last and previous tasks or future tasks? Under the taskbar. And as you can see, your first task is actually your multiple intelligences task. So if you miss that one, please go back and complete it now. And remember to include all of the information inside your portfolio. So do you remember after you did the test, you should have three intelligences type. So here is just an example. You need to include a short presentation of this intelligent type and then three studying tips which you think could be useful for your intelligent type. Repeat this three times. And this, that's all for your first task. Now, let's move on. What do you need to do? My learning objective files. If you have problems completing this task, please go back to my portfolio presentation and do the same and repeat, watch the videos. And if you don't know where my portfolio presentation here is task two and you'll find it on your website. Let's go back. Remember to include a short text that talks about your learning objectives. So here I have proposed something for you. For example, you can write, I have taken the, please remember what level you took, whether it is A1, A2, B1 or B2, CEFR self-assessment test in September 2020. I will take the same test at the end of the year and see how my English has improved. So you have to create a Word file. If you still haven't done this task, don't worry, just go back to your portfolio and you'll find um, detailed instructions about how to complete this task. Now, let's go back to your portfolio. Once you have completed my learning objectives task, then we started some work with the basics, eh? some exercises, if you remember, with your starter book. So let's start with the basics. Please always include a title like I have done to say what is it that we're talking about. So the basics, what have we done? All of the exercises of the starter plus some games. So I would like you to play the game and upload a screenshot of your scores here if you haven't already done so. So we did the preposition game the telling the time game and a numbers game. This is new, but we have worked on numbers, so it's just a simple game and I'm sure you can have fun with that. Um, as you can see, when my titles are underlined, they're actually links. So if you click on this link, it would actually take you 
to the game itself. So please play the game and when you finished, please take a screenshot of your scores and upload a picture inside your presentation, inside your portfolio, your digital English notebook. Then let's move on to the present simple. We have started looking at the present simple and the first task we did in this respect was called my life at school. Is your daily routine at school or your partner's daily routine? Do you remember? You had to write two texts and so please go back to your presentation where you actually wrote down these two texts copy the slide and then paste it back in your portfolio. After this task, this is your new task for the week and this also needs to be completed and included in your portfolio. You can do this task directly in your portfolio so that next time you don't need to copy anything. So do you remember we looked at chores, likes and dislikes and if you go to page 14 or 15 you will find a nice video as well and the grammar that talks about it. I have nevertheless included a video um, of this grammar part and as you can see you can use your CD or your app to watch the videos. This time let's watch it together. <music> We use love, like, don't mind, hate, etc. to express personal preferences. They can be positive, neutral or negative. Positive. Love, like, prefer, enjoy. Neutral. Don't mind. Negative. Don't enjoy, don't like, hate, can't stand. Kate loves the Lord of the Rings books. I hate football, but I don't mind rugby. My grandmother doesn't like cold weather. We form can't stand from the modal verb can't and the base form of the verb. It doesn't take S in the third person singular. We can't stand bus journeys. The bus is always too full. We use the adverbs really or quite before a verb to make it stronger or weaker. We only use quite before like and enjoy. I really hate spinach. In fact, I can't stand it. Carl quite likes rock music, but he really loves jazz. When love, like, don't mind, hate, etc. are followed by another verb, it usually takes the ing form. Will loves going to France on holiday. My sister really likes learning new languages. He hates doing the washing up. We don't mind helping you with your project. The verb like is always followed by an object. Do you like my new sunglasses? No, I don't like them. Very much always comes after the object. She likes him very much. Perfect. So now what do you need to do? You need to write a text about what you normally do at home. Do you remember the chores? And say what you like and what you don't like. 
Please remember to use the adverbs of frequency and these expressions of preference that we've just seen. If you don't know where the adverbs of frequency are, again, just simply go back to your task and go to task four. In this presentation, you will find the grammar about the present simple, you will find some useful maps, and you will also find the adverbs of frequency. So please go back and check your adverbs of frequency. So please write this short text inside your portfolio and then share it with your teacher. Very good. Now, this is the last exercise that I have for you. You need to complete the grammar maps that you have in your book and you need to use the solutions provided and paste the slides back into your presentation. Sounds difficult? Don't worry, it's not difficult at all. Let's have a look at what it looks like. As you can see, this is an hyperlink, so if you click, it will open another presentation, which is called Maps. And I'm asking you to complete the following maps using the solutions. So here I have, so, I have included the keys. Keys means solutions, keys. About your grammar map. So for example, these are, this is your map. And as you can see, there are small numbers here. So subject plus the base form of the verb. This is how you form the present simple. So here you have a small number, number one. So if you go back to your keys, you can see that the answer to number one is the pronoun I or you. So what do you do? You go back to your map and here you can write I or and you. Number two, he Mm, it lives in Liverpool. What are we missing here? Let's have a look. Oh, she. Then we go back to the presentation and we're going to write she here. And you will do the same for the map. This is a very useful map that also needs to be included in your portfolio. So please do the exercise and include this map in your portfolio. In a minute, I'm going to show you how. Here we have another map. As you can see here, you have the little number 11, 12, up to 14. And actually, if you go here, then you can see that the last one is number 14. So please complete them all. When you finish this, we actually have vocabulary, vocabulary keys. So, so far, what have we talked about? We've talked about everyday activities, free time activities, school subjects, and jobs at home. Jobs at home are chores. So you need this to complete this exercise. So you can use the words that you can find in your grammar map. And as you can see here, you have the map. So brush my teeth actually equates to lavare i denti. And if you go back, you can see it here. Oh, sorry. Brush my teeth is lavarsi i denti. So please complete this map. And include it in your portfolio. So how do we do this? Well, this is actually just a view file. So what do you need to do practically? I will share this presentation for you. You need to learn to copy presentations and make them your own. So I will show you how. Okay, so here you have the presentation and let's say that you have already completed your exercise and you want to include these slides inside your portfolio. So the first thing you need to do, you need to select the slides and then you can press file or you can simply right click. So file and you can make a copy, file una copia. And you can choose whether you want to copy an entire presentation or just selected slide. When you copy the presentation, 
it will open a dialog box. You can choose the folder where to save it. For me, are in maps for your first year. And here you can rename the map. So I always suggest to write your name and surname in front of your title so that when you share it with me, I immediately know who you are. Once you have finished this, you press OK and it will copy a presentation. Now I won't copy this because I don't need to, I can edit my own presentation. So let's say I want to copy this slide instead now in my portfolio. So what I do, I right click and I click on copy. Then I go back to my presentation and now I'm in preview mode, but if I, when you open a presentation, you always open it into edit mode. So let's say I would like to copy the information. I would like to paste in collare the information into my new presentation. So if I'm from the PC and please use your personal computer, do not use your phone because it is much easier. So we arrive here and again, we right click our mouse and we can choose to paste the information. And as you can see, you can choose whether you match styles in this presentation. I decide to keep original styles, always do this. Otherwise it is not always said that the formatting will work. And as you can see now, I have pasted these slides inside my presentation. Of course, the slides needs to go down. You can move the slides, you can reposition everything. And as you can see here, I have grammar maps and I have decided to paste my grammar maps inside my presentation. So this is your last task. So please remember to complete your chores, like and dislike, and to add a short text and your grammar maps. You should have already completed all of the other pages. So you should have already completed my life at school. Um, and all of these games. So please remember to send me your presentation so that I can grade it. So I will mark your presentation and uh, you now will find this video under videos and I will upload the example file into a new task which you can find under tasks and it will be task five. So this is the last task of your trimester. Please do your task and if you have problems remember that you can always watch the videos, you can follow me on YouTube and you can always find the videos to help you complete your presentations. If you have problems with the computer but, uh, for executing these tasks, please remember that you have a playlist under videos with 12 videos, uh, some in Italian and some in English, as you can see. And there is one entire video on Google Presentazioni and that is in Italian. So if you still have problem with that, please watch the videos first. So thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a wonderful day and goodbye.